Earlier this year, Athens Public Transit Coordinator Michael Lockman stepped down from his position. Soon after, his co-coordinator completely took over the role. Mary Daly, the new coordinator, came to TGC to speak with us about her previous roles in Athens Public Transit. I started as a driver back in 2006. And then about 2008, I moved into the dispatcher position. And then from there, I moved to manager. And then first of this year, well, I was co-coordinator. And then when Michael left, it was um, in June that I became the coordinator. So that's my history with, so like I said, started as a driver, we had three routes. Now we have a total of seven. Um, that's pretty much my history. I had my license because of being a preschool teacher with HAPCAP, so I've circled back around to be an employee of HAPCAP. Daly also told us about her duties as the Athens Public Transit Coordinator. I do the scheduling of the drivers, which we need drivers if anybody <laughs> has their license and wants to work. Um, I do the scheduling, do some of the uh, human resources stuff, but a lot of that's done at the main office. Um, just a big part of it is just to make sure that we're out there when we're supposed to be and how they're supposed to be. Put out small fires, as I call them. If there's an accident and we have to deviate the buses another direction and, and get the public notified of that. Doesn't sound like much, but for some reason my head spins <laughs> at times. Then of course there's all the regulations with ODOT and the city and HAPCAP that we have to make sure that we maintain. Um, my manager, Amber, does a bulk of that, but that's with, I'm overseeing her do that. The big part of it is just keeping things on the road and going. The coordinator discussed ATP's plans for the future. There are changes coming. We're looking at some route expansion. That's always going on. We have a bundle of shelters and benches that we want to actually get out on the routes for people to use. Actually, within the next two weeks, you should see three of those out on State Street. And then we're hoping for some Richland Avenue and Union. Um, like I said, the expansion, Hopefully, again, it goes back to more drivers. Um, we want to go clear to Nelsonville and Albany. That's in our dream plans, and that's being pursued pretty heavily. So I, you know, I don't, I don't have a date. It's just all the pieces got to fall into place. Growth makes a lot of sense for ATP's planning, considering how much their ridership has gone up. Here's what Daly had to say about the use of our public transit system. So in 2011 ridership for the year was 177,000. We are knocking on the door in 2018 of 475,000. So that much growth. We're, that was my goal and we're real close. We won't know to the end of December, but we're getting really close to those numbers. So, you know, a lot of that's from route expansion. Um, a lot of it is from where we added the Bobcat Pass. So that encourages the students to ride more. With the rise in ridership, ATP staff is getting stretched thin. Daly says that they need bus drivers, so if you have a Class B CDL, you should apply. It's a CDL license, which is the same as the truck drivers and everybody, any of the large vehicle type things. Then there are different categories. For our position, I need a CDL with a B. It's a B CDL with air brake endorsement and passenger endorsement. Don't forget, if you have an OUID, you can ride the Athens Public Transit completely for free. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Zach Shrivers. Mary Daly, Athens Public Transit Coordinator. Ride the bus! <laughs>